graft versus host disease or GVHD is really one of the uh, most terrible complications after allogenic stem cell transplantation. Uh, and this has been the major barrier to the success of stem cell transplantation. During this uh, EBMT 2016 annual meeting, we will have several sessions and talks which will try to tackle prophylaxis but also treatment of graft versus host disease. Of note, I can highlight two important sessions. One is dedicated to GVHD prophylaxis and the other one is a new feature called GVHD Forum. In the ATG prophylaxis session, we will address three different ways of prophylacting GVHD. We will have a talk about pharmacologic agents in this field and to see what is the value of the different available agents in the prophylaxis setting. We will have also a talk about the role of polyclonal antibodies, namely the different ATGs, because these products have been shown over the last 20 years or so to be highly effective. Initially, we had retrospective registry-based data, but now we have all the necessary randomized phase three trials. In another word, ATG is proving to be a very powerful tool for GVHD prophylaxis and in my opinion and based on the available research evidence should be incorporated in the conditioning regimen in for transplant patient whether you're talking about match related donors or match unrelated donor. We will have also a talk about a specific way of doing prophylaxis which is ex vivo T-cell depletion. And actually, this is a relatively old story because in the 80s, uh, many investigators tried to do T-cell depletion of the graft in order to decrease graft-versus-host disease. Unfortunately, these attempts failed because on one hand, you can decrease GVHD incidence, but on the other hand, you lose disease control. So your survival is worsened. Now these days, it looks like there are novel modern techniques to try to tailor this level of T-cell depletion and this session will address some of these novel issues.